I made some videos about how Christianity has come under fire. Come under fire. It's been under fire in the country. You know, um, <coughs> on God. Every fucking time I turn this on, I swear that there is something to that fucking, that idea that there's some kind of, uh, <coughs> I wasn't like this. I wasn't like this a second ago. I think whoever said that in the comments about the fucking frequencies, I think they might be right. Well, they're fucking with everything, your Wi-Fi suit that we're in now. But yeah, they, they've, been, they've been going after them like hardcore for a while. Uh, I talked about a few guys here. Uh, Kerfabala and um, who was the other guy? Oh, God. Mafala, who both uh, worked for locally here in, in the city, um, one with the police union. And they both got into um, the controversies that stem not from anything that they actually said, but it's because they, they both outed themselves as Christians. And uh, you can't have that. The, the demons, the fucking... I gotta stop calling robot people robot people because it's dismissive. It, it doesn't get anyone over to your side. I was watching Regan uh, Keeley yesterday. How, how about five different topics at once? I was watching Regan yesterday and um, she had a, a great thing where... I don't know if she meant to, to say it exactly like this, but... 5D people, uh, people like ourselves, who understand that we are 5D energy beings, we originate from that dimension. Uh, it reflects through the fourth to have an effect here on the third, sort of like a, a, a movie projector. The projector's in the fifth, the beam is the fourth, this is the third. And she was referring to people who don't, uh, who haven't had any sort of um, understanding of the spiritual situation as being 3D people, like people that are stuck to the uh, material kind of area here. I think there's a lot nicer than robot people. Robot people's funny. I might pull that out once in a while, but it's, you know, I, I, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's that more, more uh, bees with honey than vinegar thing. Not like I'm trying to get bees, but um, I like bees. Got to keep them alive. The, um, so they've been trying to drag Christians for a while. And a lot of, you know, the, the 3D people go along with it because they're beholden to material and the beast. And um, now, uh, backdoor kind of laws are being put in place uh, to criminalize Christianity. And the way they're doing it is through these, they're moving these new terrorism bills through that are going to target extreme Christian terrorism which I didn't know was a thing. The white supremacy thing hasn't been working out for them that well because it's not a, they can't put people, it's too big of a group, it's too general of a term. They're having trouble nailing that down. And also it doesn't exist, so that's kind of a problem. What does exist though is that there are Christians. So the, the idea, the thinking here is Christians bad, they don't like the gays, uh, so that means they could hurt the other TV community, which makes them terrorists, Christian terrorists, uh, are the biggest threat to the country. And this is being, um, the, the paperwork is being done for this. So if you're a sort of out, out Christian, um, they can call you an extremist and a danger to, uh, you know, your community or your area and just pick you up. Uh, it sounds ridiculous, right? I mean... Even a couple of years ago, I would have laughed at that. But, um, well, maybe not a couple of years ago. But again, this is another one of those holy book things, uh, Bible things, where they, it was said that this was gonna be the kind of thing that going on this time where Christians outlawed, um, executed. I don't know if this is actually in the Bible, but it's been, it's a theology thing, I guess you, you could call it. Um, I'm not as up on my Bible. And that's why I don't like to sort of uh, talk about or, or mention myself as a Christian. It's not because I don't want to, uh, I, not because I'm not, I of course, you know, follower of Jesus. Um, it's just that other Christians will try to purity check you, purity spiral you. 
you know uh, I've had way too many uh, negative run-ins with people like that strangers on the street you just you know you say hey God bless you hey, God bless you have you this that what well you have to read this and that because if you don't read this and that have you been doing this it's like what you know I, I've given examples before um, about how uh, I've had these situations with people I had a, a woman at the bus stop explaining to me that I shouldn't do nice things for people. I'm like, yeah, I just try to do nice things for people. Should. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do works. You know, Jesus already died uh, for you. So I'm like, yeah, no, but I'm just trying to say, you know, do pick up trash. Don't let fucking assholes ruin your fucking neighborhood. And she's like, no, no, you don't have to do anything like that. I'm like, so you don't, you're not supposed to, no, 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 Jesus, are, are you? I'm just like, well, whatever, I, I don't know, I can't have conversations with those kind of people, you know? Because it's nonsensical, it's fucking stupid. It's nonsense. So yeah, they're trying to do that. I mean, it doesn't matter where I stand. I thought I was safe over there. The, um, you're not safe anywhere. We'll see to it. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I, I, you know, it's a good time to try to be the best Christian you can. Especially if they're outlawing it. Fuck them. I've always said, like, I would have no problem getting in line for the guillotine. You know, I'd, I'd try to cut people so we can get up to the, uh, the Freemason with his queer mask and his little fucking fanny pack, his Freemason fanny pack and uh, he can chop my head off you know that that's fine uh, I have no problem with that at all you know They'll, that time will come it's like they'll be like they'll ask you if you have to if you uh, have a line if you're aligned with Jesus and you will have to look at them and say I am he and then whoop, and that's fucking fine if, if that's what you know some of us are here for including myself then you know it's cool I have no problem with it the alternative is unthinkable you imagine just renouncing all that just you know um people will you know but you can't be lukewarm man because you get spit out when you're lukewarm gobble uh he'll look at you and be like I, you know i don't know you what are you talking about you know, if you don't know jesus then you know if you don't know jesus is luke skywalker you should check him out man he's good he's got a good He's a good musician. I think he's like, I mean, he's obviously a comedian of some kind. Uh, I hope. Huh. That would be interesting if it, he was just completely serious about everything. Um, yeah, you have to, you have to have, uh, you have to have, your, you have to align with Jesus uh, and be a, a Christian. If that's what your thing is. I mean, if you want to be a Satan worshiping, you know, whatever, that's fine too. Uh, do your own thing. I mean, you know, I wouldn't suggest that, you know, but I don't. The, um, the thing about uh, culture today is it's all, all sort of, it's cool to be satanic. Like, they're trying to do that thing, like, uh, it's edgy and it's an aesthetic. And you see a lot of young people doing the Satan thing, especially on a place like Instagram. 90% of women there are uh, displaying themselves like the whore of Babylon and they don't know what it's about you know they, people just think it's some kind of edgy thing it's like well are you prepared to fuck kids because uh, unless you are then you should probably you should probably back way off that you know but it's not my it's not any of our job to try to save people from stuff if you can yeah sure I mean if someone's if you can eat, do it where it's not going to um, jeopardize yourself, you know, you have to assess the drowning man, you know. Because some drowning men will pull you in. You know, depending on what part of the, of the world they're from, they may have a, a much uh, harder bone density and, and they just sink uh, naturally. But, uh... I, I'm, I, I'm not doing a race thing today, so we're not going to talk about that. 
But uh, I gotta go and get a candle at Ross. That's the fucking me problem, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny. You should check some of that stuff out. These laws they're quietly passing while they're they're talking about shooting down uh, UFOs and setting a toxic gas cloud to destroy uh, more food and more uh, European people. Shit's on now. Like we we we've. I mean, it's been on for a while, but it's at a point now where it's like uh, it, it's. Uh, then again, who knows? I said that once the uh, all the. Uh, gay mandates came down um, I was like oh we're never going back and we've kind of gone back I mean it, it, there's still some virtue signaling people out here that want you to know they hate Trump because he reminds them of their absentee father and the women uh, that hate him because he reminds them of their stepdad who touched them that's all terrible stuff of course but uh, they knew they would project it onto a guy like that and that, that was part of the Trump spell He's a, he's a Satan worshiper. He's another one. He's, he's just as bad. He's uh, the Saturn cult. He's a Saturn cult guy, Jesuit. It's all, you know, they, they have political enemies, but they're all vying just for power uh, amongst themselves. Not for power really over us. They already, got their, they already got the lockdown on that. I mean, I hate to be black-pilled, but did, did, you've seen what happened over the past couple of years. Everyone went into their house, got under their fucking kitchen table, put a hazmat suit on, and went into the fetal position. It was fucking shocking. It was shocking. I remember thinking at the time, like, people aren't going to do this. Fuck these people. Nope. It was like me and a couple other dudes, a couple other legends in the fucking neighborhood walking around, avoiding the cops. We happy few. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.